So today I got a package from Sweetwater. Let's take a look at what's inside. Water receipt and information. And the bear enter for a one. And everybody's favorite, the sweet water candy bag with four rolls of Smarties. I know somebody who's going to be happy with that. one. Same rough chassis size as the Neutron and the Model D. Power supply, structure book, there and sticker. And two fuzzy end caps. Power cable in case you want to use it in your Euro rack, and a couple of eighth inch patch cords for patching around on things. These are going to go with my others. out of the box. Here it is. The uh, front panel looks remarkably similar to my original Pro 1. Same color, same font style, same kind of profity feel. Right, sequential. Rattle, rattle, rattle. Look at the power supply.
power strip. Power in the back. Power on. We have a power light. Yes. Step one, get out a USB cable. And this is a USB A to B. here. And then it goes to the back of the computer. Device is ready. Synth tool. And just check for an update. Outdated. Update. successful, please restart the device. Power back on. Get started. Update. Version 127. Up to date. Release notes. 25th of November. Improve the pitch band range. Real time message stopped, didn't send out, and it was fixed. And no real time interaction between the MIDI channel and the synth tool, and that was fixed. Cool. Back to synth tool. So here's the functions in the synth tool general. So set the MIDI channel via software, set the pitch bend range and semitones, low, high, or last note priority, and whether it transmits MIDI clock, turn on polychain, and we already did the update. So that's everything for Synth Tool. Next step is we're going to take a listen to it. So give me a second while I hook up the audio interface. I've seen some comments that the range on the Pro 1 has been limited depending on the footage settings. You just heard an eight octave sweep. So there may have been some issues in earlier firmware, but currently I can start here and I'm one octave below. So that's the one octave down. So that's one octave, two, three, four, five, six, seven octaves. So start at the top, 
That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If I go one more down, yep, nothing there. So it ends there. So it's the seven octave range. I'm at the zero footing setting on the uh, oscillator settings. I have oscillator one and two. Number one is in the sawtooth. Number two is in a square wave. And I have the LFO as a triangle running through the wheel and the wheel going to the pulse width and two. So pulse width modulation. Keyboard control of the oscillator on, sync is off. So what else do we have on the Pro 1? So one of the unique things to the Pro 1 oscillators are all the waveforms are available. So here's oscillator 1 square wave, oscillator 1 triangle wave, oscillator 1, both of them at the same time. There's one, that's both of them. or none of them, on oscillator B. There's the pulse with pulse width modulation. Triangle, almost a sine wave. The sawtooth. Wave shapes coming through. Same thing with the LFO. So if I put this to direct and I'm going to put pulse width to direct. So it's always there. I increase the pulse width depth by LFO depth over here. So I have a triangle. Square, a sawtooth, both of them, add the triangle. Now I get some really strange complex waveforms just coming out of the LFO. on wheel, put that back in wheel. And now my mod button on the score keyboard is going to be act just like a modulation wheel. So there's one, uh, the filter, other people have covered what the filter sounds like. And we have a separate uh, envelope for the filter, an ADSR envelope for the filter. And we have keyboard tracking. Right now I got keyboard tracking all the way down. Basically as you increase keyboard amount, the filter opens up more and becomes brighter depending on how high you play on the keyboard. It's almost all the way open. And as I reduce keyboard amount, you get more of the filter.
amplifier envelope, standard ADSR envelope, nothing uh, unique about it. Sustain only, so it's just a straight sustain, nothing on the uh, filter. So there are a couple of interesting things on the Pro 1 has an arpeggiator. Very simple. It has two options, up or up and down. So let's look at those really quick. Up. Or up, down rather. Up. Up, down. Speed of the arpeggiator is controlled by the LFO. You can also lock the arpeggiator while you're holding the arpeggiator, the arpeggiated notes down. Flip the play record button into record mode. you can also add notes on top of the arpeggiator uh, so if I go down here the arpeggiator. Sequencer, two sequences. I've already recorded something in sequence one. It's a step sequencer and you can add rest to it if you need. The other thing you can do with the sequence is pitch shift it. So I'm going to play sequence two. It's a single note. I can shift it down an octave. And I can shift it up an octave. the total range so if I shift my keyboard up an octave so this is middle C that's the one octave up so it's an octave from below so from here that's normal down an octave, up an octave. The other feature they've added to the Pro 1, so all that was classic Pro 1, that was all on the original. So the mode they've added is poly mode. It's not true polyphonic, it's paraphonic. There's still only one filter and one amplifier envelope 
but you can control the oscillators independently. It starts by controlling both of them, but when you add a second key on the keyboard, you'll get the second, the second oscillator will be stolen and play that new note. So that's both oscillators together. So it's stealing the second oscillator and playing the second note. Now that can get interesting because you can detune the oscillators. So let's tune this one up about a fifth. So now by playing the same C note, so this is C, that's G. Again, only one filter envelope, only one amplifier envelope. So that is my unboxing of the Behringer Pro 1. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please look for my next video, which will cover how I'm controlling the Pro 1 from this nano key, Korg nano key 2 without going through a computer. Thanks and have a great day.